Hey everyone out there, I'm back again with Broxy. Um, this is my second video out of the series that I intend doing. Well, I intend to do them as long as I need to or as long as people want to listen to them. Um, yesterday I, I released the introductory one. I was debating whether I should do one today or tonight, whatever, as it is getting a bit late. But it was on my mind and I put a little bit of thought into um, what I want to say in this video. And... So I thought I may as well do it now while it's kind of fresh in my head rather than sleep on it and totally forget everything that I was going to cover. Um, my videos are, there's a lot of videos out there at the moment um, and a lot of people coming out um, who are reformed criminals, um, have lived a life that not, not many people can really um, imagine or understand. Um, they've been through the system, they've been through jail, and their, their videos, okay, they're doing great positive work. My hat's off to them. I'm not pointing out any person while I'm saying this because um, there's a lot of people doing it on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok, um, many platforms. Those videos are great and um, they're, they're pretty well aimed. They're pretty well aimed specifically at ex-criminals or criminals and um, people who kind of glorify the, well, the normal people who haven't been in the system who kind of look up to gangsters or for whatever reason. Um, even though I've walked a path similar to that in my life, um, and I have been to jail and that, my videos aren't going to be focused on um, crime. It's, they're not going to be focused on um, towards criminals or towards any specific section of a community out there my i want my i want my messages to go to everyone out there anyone from any walk of life it doesn't matter whether you've um never had a parking ticket in your life whether you've worked a nine to five job all your life had a family whether you're unemployed whether you're a drug addict whether you're a former drug addict whether you you're religious or non-religious this is just from me to to humans on a human level so um, I'm not going to be going over and glorifying any 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 criminal activity I have done in my life. And don't get me wrong, because my whole my whole life has not been full of criminal activity. A lot of people see me in that light because of some of the um, some of the media I've had in the past, or or those who know me knew me on a local level, um, because. I'm, I've never been in any form a gangster. I've never been a... Um, I'm not going to go on and talk about jail. Cause I was never the tough guy in jail. I was never the... Oh, that's a different story altogether. I, I just, I was just myself in there. I survived. I haven't got any stories to tell of running in with blades and shivs or whatever you want to call it and violence and any war stories such as that. I was quiet in there. I'd done my time. And I, I done what I had to do. I fitted, I fitted in with the people I was around. I, I just, um, yeah, I, I wasn't a standout in jail. So I've got no real big stories to tell in there, except um, I drew some experiences from being in those places, like I have in my life. And so I, I began thinking that um, I don't think I'm even going to go. I will at some times. I don't think I'll go too much into specific events or specific people or specific incidents, unless they're relative to something I'm talking about. Um, but on a, on a kind of minimal kind of level, I'll skim over some sometimes like that with um, real things that's happened in life. But what I'm going to do is actually relate to you the, the um, lessons I've learned in my life um, from different times. And um, they'll, be, they'll come through in the form of um, like a story, a tale, um, I'll put together a hypothetical situation um, where the story has actually got a lesson to it. A lesson, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to preach to anyone. That's the last thing I want to do. I'm just going to repeat the lessons I've learned in my life personally, and maybe someone out there will relate to it. They'll relate to a story, and they'll get something from it. And, it will, and if it just changes a little seed within their thinking, well, that's, that's all I'm really looking to do. So... Um, today, like it's the second video, 
um, I'm going to, I've, I've thought of a little story in my head, and the stories are straight out of my head, so um, bear with me, and I haven't written them down, some of them, and um, I'm just going to say them as I'm talking to you, this is going to be more like of a, um, a discussion, I'm, I'm just going to discuss, I'm just going to have a yarn to you, just have a chat, and, and just relay some of my thoughts. I plan on going down the track a little bit more, maybe doing some podcasts. That's a little bit off yet. I'm just going to put a couple of these out there, see how they go. I also plan on getting some people on here and having discussions with them, whether it's via Zoom or whether I go and catch up with them in the real world and we sit down and we can... I'll just have a conversation with them. They, and these people are going to... I'm going to choose very carefully with people who's got a positive message. They're on the right path and they have something to add. Like one of my friends is an expert at nutrition and he's had a pretty well I won't go into it too much now but he's had a pretty colourful life and um these people I, I felt will add value to the objective that I personally am trying to achieve. And that is basically just to um reach out and and give people a message of hope. Hope is the is is the key. Hope. But to have hope you've got all Hope stands a better chance of eventuating if you've got a good platform and good knowledge and good wisdom wisdom to build your future upon. So some of my stories are going to attempt to give you that way of thinking that um, just point out a few things and if you pick it up and run with it, that's fine. If you don't, that, that's also fine. Eventually you'll find your own path and your own truth if that's what you really want in your life. Um, if you're searching for it and you're doing things to help you achieve that, you will find it. Just don't give up. So I'll go on with this little story that I've kind of constructed today. And I'm gonna, it's going to be, it's going to point out how sometimes things happen in our life through our choices and our decisions. And they can be changed. And sometimes other things happen in our life through our choices and decisions and nothing can change it. Nothing at all can change it. But there's going to be a little moral at the end of the story. And what I had in mind, I was thinking of a scenario today. There was, there was t um, two guys, roughly around the same age, say, I'll just pick a random age, 28, 30, around that age. And one of the guys was a hard worker. He got up every morning. He went to work. He was never late. He was dressed well. He done well at work. He, he was very enthusiastic about his work. He got stuck into it. And he lived like this. And... Um, on a Friday afternoon, on his way out from work, his boss said to him, you've done such a good job, okay, we really appreciate you. We can have, um, you can have Monday off, have a long weekend, and enjoy your weekend, and we'll give you full pay for Monday. Just have Monday and enjoy it. And he was excited, thank you. I've been recognised, I've been rewarded for my work. So this guy's gone home, and um, he's he's done his usual Saturday stuff, and he's mowed his lawns and looked after his, um, I don't know if he had kids, he played with his kids and his wife, he was attending, and this guy lived a very good, wholesome life. And so, come Sunday afternoon, he's thinking, what will I do with my Monday? And he goes, what am I going to do tomorrow? And he said to his wife, listen, I just want to go out into town. He was thinking he was going to buy his wife a few presents because he had time and money, and he just wanted to enjoy the day, go to a cafe, which he hadn't done for a while, sit down, have a coffee, talk to some of the locals and some people, and just basically have a a great day, just full of nothing, but getting out and about and amongst it. And so he said to himself, I want to be in town by 10 o'clock to have, um, yeah, I'll hit the cafes at 10, they open, and I'll just, you know, from there, I'll just um, enjoy my day. That's the first bloke. The second bloke, he'd, um, he'd been unemployed for a while. And he, he finally got a job. On a Friday afternoon, the word come back, he's got a job and he's all happy and he's proud and he's excited and stuff. So he calls his friends up and on Sunday, they go down to the pub on Sunday afternoon, they have a drink, he gets rotten drunk, smashed, and he goes on and on and on and into the night celebrating. He's all happy, yeah, I'm working, I'm feeling good about himself. He pulls up about 11.30, catches a taxi home and sets his alarm clock because he has to start work at nine o'clock. So he sets his alarm clock for nine, 
for, well, well, sorry, he set it for 8.30 because his work was only 15 minutes away. He figured if he got up at 8.30, had a quick coffee, breakfast, shell, whatever, and it'd take him 15 minutes to drive to work, and he'll be fine to get there. Anyway, so Monday morning comes. First bloke, he wakes up all excited because he knows he's going to have a relaxing day. He doesn't have to go to work. He's well-deserved. So he wakes up early. He wakes up at 8 o'clock and he has a coffee, feels good, and sees the kids off to school, whatever. And he's gone, well, t why did I say 10 o'clock? Huh? And he, he says to his wife, you don't mind if I leave a bit earlier? And she goes, no, of course not. Just go and enjoy your day. You've deserved it. So instead of heading into town at 10, he decides to leave earlier. So he'd get there around 9 o'clock to town. So he's changed his plan and put it forward a bit. So he gets in his car and he takes a route that he wouldn't normally take to town because he just wants to enjoy the drive and enjoy his um, newfound freedom for the day. Then there's the second guy. He sleeps for his alarm. 8.30. You know that buzzing. You know when you're about to smash your alarm when the um, snooze keeps going off and you hit, oh, one more time, I'll be right, one more time. Yeah, I've got mine. So he kept hitting the snooze and finally he's woken up and it's a quarter to nine and he's gone, Hell, I'm late, I'm late, I'm gonna, it's my first day, I'm gonna, so he didn't have a coffee, he's still half cut from the night before, this and that, he jumps in his car, and it's a 15 minute drive to work, he's, it's actually 10 to 9 when he's walking out of the door, so he boots it. So, these two blokes, unknown to each other, one's going off to have his nice day, the other one's running late, stressed, anxiety's kicking in, he's, oh, I'm gonna get fired even before I start. And so he, he's booting it. Anyway, one's coming from one side of the intersection, the other one's coming the other. And the guy that's running late sees a red light, but he's late. He thought, nah, I'm going to get through there. And he boots the car through the red light. And the other guy who's on his way to town, he is um, crossing the intersection at the same time. They crash into each other. Bang! That moment they both lost their lives. Two people on two different courses both lost their lives. Those lives were lost through a process of decisions. Um, one decision can change the, your entire life. One decision can change your entire life. Okay, the guy who decided to leave a bit earlier and that if he if he stuck to his normal plan and that, and there's nothing wrong, he's done nothing wrong, this fella. Um, if he left a bit later, he would have missed this guy. Okay, there's nothing that guy could have done about that. There was nothing in these decisions that took him down his path to where he lost his life. Okay, he he had done everything right. Now the second guy, he was excited. He's, if he thought to himself, "Well, I shouldn't really be partying. It's the night before my new job, but I'm celebrating." I deserve this and blah, blah. If he if he didn't party that night, that's one bad decision he made. The second bad decision he made was hitting that snooze button. There's two in a row. The third bad decision he's made, and each of these were a decision. Each of these were a decision. They could have been changed at any time. The third decision he made was speeding and running that red light. That decision cost him his life and it cost an innocent person their life. Now... The point behind this, there's a couple of points I'd like to make of all this. If you're mindful and you think ahead and you can analyse making rash decisions and where it's going to lead you and how it could turn out, they can be avoided. They can be avoided. This guy, if he decided not to drink that night with his friends and celebrate, if he decided to go home early, if he decided to wake up earlier, and or he could have even called his boss and said, look, I'm going to be a couple of minutes late. I'm really apologise. If he made a decision to do that, it would have had a different outcome. The first guy, he still made decisions, but those decisions in the end, or if he decided different, but there was nothing he could do about that. There was nothing he could do. That was outside his hand because the decisions that the other guy had made has ultimately cost him his life. Now, we have to think about our decisions. How they're going to affect others? How they're going to affect ourselves? Are they right for what we want to achieve in life? Is going out drinking today and getting drunk going to help me start my new job? Is it going to help me 
advance to where I want to be. Also, that morning, they both lost their lives. Both of them. Which way do you want to go out? The first guy, he went out knowing he'd worked hard, knowing he'd loved his family, knowing he put work in, stress-free, ready to enjoy his diet day. He was on a bit of a high and he was happy. The second guy went out anxious, nervous, stressed, rushed, hurrying to get to a destination that he, that he's um, put himself in a situation where it was detrimental he got there on that time. Well, at least he thought it was. Because in the end, what, what's more what's more important, your life or just keeping that um, keeping that job, which he didn't really deserve anyway, because if he did, he would have done everything in his power to get there and get there early and sober and whatever and not rushed and give himself the best start. So I'd just like to have, I'd just like you all to, to just think about that. The decisions we make may seem small and insignificant and just nothing at the time, but there's a chain reaction. From each decision you make, there is a chain reaction. Some, you've done everything right and it's still going to have we we can't we can we can't change things that's out of our control. But at least he done the best thing he could with his life while he was still there, productive, and went out and uh, having served a purpose, put love into his family, having um, had the respect of his employers. Not that it means much to me personally because I, I I don't get along with employers. That's why I, I'm getting a bit off track there. But anyway. Um, Second guy went out like absolutely chaos and his life was finished before he could find, before he could find any peace, before he could feel self-worth, before he could feel that. Just think about our decisions every day because life is temporary, life is short and it can be taken out within an instant. And it's not how we die or when we die that is really important. It's what we've done while we're here, the decisions we've made the lessons we've learned, um, we've get some purpose in our life because um, right now, I'll tell you, every single person out there, every single person out there has a unique gift. How sad would it be if you go through your life and you never find that gift because you're too rushed, you're too caught up, you've made bad decisions, you've gone off track. That, that'd that be tragic. What would be even more tragic if you realise what your gift is but you've just brushed it aside because you're caught in that rut. This decision leads you here, there, instead of, uh, personally, instead of finishing study, you choose a trip overseas, so you miss out in semesters, or you wind up in jail, whatever. Um, they're, all, they're all through decisions. And we are the master of our own life, the way we live our life. Sometimes, like the first guy, we're not the master of when we depart the world, but we are the master of our lives while we're here so i want you to keep that all in mind if you find this video um helpful at all or whatever um you like it enjoy it share it please because facebook youtube all of those they work on algorithms they get limited exposure by their algorithms unless you um i don't know what you have to do you have to you have to get the the nanobots or the little bots or whatever algorithm on site and um until then um yeah it does help sharing you don't have to share but if you do it's appreciate it and until next time i'm gonna leave you all in love and light thank you